Hello everyone. I am glad to welcome you to the tutorial video on building an apartment plan drawing. We will look at how to draw doors and windows, create blocks, add hatching and text to the drawing. Before you start, make sure that you have object snap, endpoint, midpoint, intersection, extension, polar tracking 90 degrees, and dynamic input enable. These tools make the work easier. Now let's get started. First, let's create several layers to mark each part of the drawing. On the Home tab in the Layers group, click on Layer Properties. We add the following layers. Wall, Window, Door, Patch, Text, and Dimensions. We change the color of the layer to distinguish them in the drawing. You can choose any other one. We close the window. Switch to the wall layer. Let's start building walls using the polyline tool. If you want a box-shaped apartment, then use the rectangle tool. From the first point, we draw up by 440 millimeters, then 1,960 millimeters left, 6,200 millimeters up, 6,510 millimeters right. Next, we complete it with the help of auxiliary line, a green dotted line. Now let's move on to building walls inside the room using polyline. If you use the line tool, then each section of the wall will be considered as separate objects. The wall dimensions are as follows. 2,460 millimeters, 1,760 millimeters. It will be a bathroom. 1,340 millimeters and 3,740 millimeters. This is the bedroom. 1,130 millimeters, 640 millimeters, and 1,770 millimeters are the entrance hall. In order to position the beginning of the segment further than the endpoint anchor point, you need to aim at the point and start pointing the mouse in the right direction. Then a green dotted line will appear after which we can enter the desired indentation using dynamic input and continue drawing. 850 millimeters is a loggia. In order to finish building the walls, you need to add thickness to it. This can be done using the offset object command on the home or draw tab. We set a distance of 200 and select the outer wall. The offset side depends on the position of the cursor relative to the selected object. For the inner walls, choose a distance of 100. With the Smart Trim tool, we will remove small and unnecessary pieces of walls. Now we need to draw the doors. Switch to the door layer. Using the rectangle tool, we draw the base of the door measuring 60 by 200, as well as the door itself, 60 by 600. To switch between length and width, press tab. Move the base to the door with the move command, specifying the base point. There is a lack of direction for opening the door. Let's do this using arc by choosing the center, start, and construction method. We create the second base of the door using the move copy command. Select an object, a base point, and move it to the desired location. We got a door. Now we will make another door, but we will make the base of the door slightly smaller. 60 by 100. Using the move copy command, 
we move the door and the direction for opening the door. We repeat the creation of the base of the door. The first door will be the entrance, and the rest will be interior. Now let's draw a window. Switch to the window layer. We draw a rectangle measuring 1520 by 200. Let's explode this object by typing the command in the command line. Choose the object and press Enter. As you can see, this object is divided into lines. Setting the offset to 30. Use the Move Copy command. Now you can see that these objects consist of separate parts. To group them, you need to create a block. A block is a collection of associated drawing objects processed as a whole entity. A block can be created of any number of objects and inserted in a drawing any number of times. It is convenient to use blocks to create drawing elements for multiple use, thus accelerating and simplifying the drawing process. Select the base point, select the object, write the name and click OK. Repeat it again. You can select an object in advance before creating a block. Now you can see that it is a solid object. All created blocks can be viewed by clicking on the block icon. When you click OK, the block we selected appears, which can be used in the future. This concludes the first part of the lesson. Thank you very much for your attention.